The creases of your wrists are pointing straight forward and your wrists are underneath your shoulders. We're gonna exhale, scoop out the belly and then round out that spine as you bring your chin to your chest. Inhale, open up the front of the body, tilt the tailbone up to the ceiling and look up to where the ceiling meets the wall. Exhale, round out your back, chin to chest. Inhale, open the front of the body. Exhale, keep going. I want you to actually hear your exhale this time. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. It actually changes the way that we feel when we exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Imagine you're releasing all of your stress on your exhale. Press it out through the mouth. And last one. Inhale through the nose as you open the front of the body. And exhale through the mouth. And I want you to hold this position here with your back rounded, chin to chest, scooping out that belly. Just for a few more breaths here. Good. Exhale, let's drop our weight for our buttocks to come back to our heels. And I'm gonna turn my body to face to the front again so you can see me okay. We're gonna come into our inner thigh stretch here. So stretching our right leg out to the side. Come onto a tabletop position with your hands and your knee. And if you notice that knee feels like it needs more support, you can always use a pillow or something underneath your knee so that it doesn't feel too crunchy underneath there. I have a carpet and a exercise mat, so I'm good. But if you have a hardwood floor, you might want that pillow or something soft. So here is that tabletop position again with my leg out to the side. I'm gonna leave my left hand directly in front of me and I'm gonna open my right arm up to the ceiling. Just a nice bend here. So we're twisting in our upper body and getting an inner thigh stretch in that right leg. Now, if you want more, drop that extended arm down behind your back so that the back of your hand is trying to touch your left hip. And then you can twist even more and turn your heart up to the ceiling. If it hurts your neck, feel free to let your head look down at your left hand is pressing into the floor. If your hand is down by your hip, let's inhale and reach the arm straight up again. And then exhale, we're gonna set up for the other side. So let's bring that leg in and extend the opposite leg. So notice my whole sole of the foot is touching the mat there. Bring my left hand directly in front of me and press that into the mat. And then inhale, reach the arm up. If you want more, drop that hand down behind the back, reaching the back of the hand towards the right hip this time. And then inhale, see if you can twist a little more. If your hand is down by your hip, inhale, reach it back up. And exhale, release it down. Good, let's come back into that prayer position. Bring those knees together, sit back on your heels and reach and extend those arms forward. Drop your head and rest and breathe.